you will probably understand that in order to run an international and interdenominational network such as ours with so many different streams involved in it, you must either have or develop a relatively high level of tolerance in order to deal with this, in order even to deal with potential misunderstandings that people accuse you that you have said things that you actually have never said, but seen from the paradigm, from the glasses of this different culture or this different denomination, many things become understandable. However, there are some areas where I decided not to display any tolerance any longer, in contrast to what I did a number of years ago. One of those areas is this. If people tell me, and there are a number of them, natural church development is unbiblical, without giving me the clear proof, that for me is an area of zero tolerance. You know, I changed in that area years ago. I remember that when people addressed me and said, oh, that is unbiblical. I said, oh, yes, please help me. What is not biblical enough? I have to improve there, you know. And I, I was speaking like this. I don't do this any longer. You know, just recently, I heard it that uh, at an NCD conference, one participant said in a given context, what you are presenting here with NCD, that is unbiblical. It may be, may be interesting, it may work, but it's unbiblical. How did I react? I asked this person. No, I didn't ask him. I commanded this person to come forward onto the platform. And I said, we have to clarify it right now in front of all of the people. And I physically uh, kept this man on the platform. He had no chance to go back. You know, he said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt your meeting now. I said, but I want to interrupt it now because we have to clarify this question. If you are right, I have to stop my seminar and I have to stop my ministry. But if I am right, you have to publicly recant what you have said because that is not acceptable. So please present to us which of the principles that I have shared with you are unbiblical. Please, I'm listening. Which is unbiblical? Tell me, you have just said this. I want to hear this. And if you cannot do this, please recant publicly because it's not acceptable. You know what I mean? Some people are surprised if, you, if, if they experience this almost, um, you know, fundamentalist approach from my side that they hadn't expected. But for me, this is not a game, you know. The Bible, the Word of God, Scripture, is the final authority by which we have to judge everything that we do. And if something is in contradiction to scripture. It's a very serious problem and I would be more than open to learn from this and to change this. But simply saying it is unbiblical without giving the clear evidence which of the principles, maybe it's loving relationships that's unbiblical or maybe empowering leadership, I don't know. I've never heard any a serious argument in this area. The most, in inverted commas, serious argumentation was years ago by, uh, I believe, a uh, professor of theology, he counted the number of Bible references in one of my books and he counted the words, the number of words in the book and divided, I believe, the number of words by the number of Bible verses and then he developed a Bible index or something like this. And this was seriously, seriously, his argumentation why NCD is unbiblical. We cannot accept that any longer. We cannot accept that any longer. And if this person were a guest in my seminar, I would give him a hard time. That's an area of zero tolerance.